Dolly here, your family fitness guru. Thanks again for tuning in and uh, joining me on my day number seven and eight of the official detox lemonade diet. It means I have two more days to go on the lemonade. Now in the overall process here, I'm on days number nine and ten as far as including the ease in at the beginning. So it's going to take a little longer than 14 days, I think, to kind of ease out of the whole thing. But I'm so excited because I'm near the end of the line here. It's been a little tough the past couple days because I've been noticing myself getting very hungry a lot more frequently. I'm not going to get off the plan. I'd be really stupid to do that. I only have two more days to go on the official lemonade. Um, but stay tuned because in two days... And actually tomorrow evening I have um, a presentation that I'm going to, and on Saturday I'm going to an all-day conference, um, and I get to do a little presentation as I introduce one of the speakers. So I'm excited about that. So I hope that my energy, you know, maintains itself. So far, so good. Um, I do get very tired um, at times when I'm hungry, so I notice that right away I gotta, I gotta get that blood sugar up. And, uh, and drink the lemonade. So I will drink water beforehand, usually, but sometimes I just skip that step and I go right to the lemonade because I'm getting a lot of water anyway, but I know that really what I need is, you know, the calories from, from the, uh, the juice and the, um, the maple syrup. So um, I don't have anything really new to report in terms of statistics. My weight is about 139, so maybe I'm a little like a pound difference there from last time we talked. And uh, waist is about the same, maybe a quarter inch less, somewhere around 29 and a half, a little bit over that. Again, I'm not doing this to lose weight. Now, if I had a lot of fat to lose, and I should differentiate between fat and lean body tissue. I often do that for my clients. Um, if I had a lot of body fat to lose, I think I would notice more changes on the scale. Anytime you cut back on calories, you're going to see a change in the weight. Um, for something like this, you will see a change in, you know, less muscle tissue um, at the end of, of something like this. So I know that I'll have to do a little building up. I, I, I'm prepared to do that. I'm doing this though, um, you know, for recalibrating sake, to kind of get myself set. I'm a single parent. I have three small children. They're very dependent upon me. Somebody might be thinking, why in the heck are you doing this? You're crazy, you know? And okay, fine, I'm crazy. But am I really? It's up to me as mom, the one that they're going to rely on, to be as absolutely healthy as I possibly can be. And I've noticed myself getting off track into some poor eating habits, um, psychologically making excuses as to it's okay, you know, it's the holidays, whatever the thing was, okay. I want to reset that because I know it's not good and I don't, you know, I don't want those excuses in me. I don't want to teach that to them. And I certainly don't, you know, um, assert those things for my clients. I think, you know, excuses should be eliminated. If you really are serious about being fit and being healthy for your family, you've got to eliminate your excuses. And uh, so this is how I do it. Now, interestingly enough, and this is just a little something on kind of a, an, a spiritual level here, um, I notice with myself, I really appreciate food having gone on something like this. Now that might be a complete, well, no-brainer, right? Yeah, you're not eating. Of course you're going to appreciate food. But no, I'm serious. What I'm talking about is from a, a, a religious or spiritual perspective, you know, all the major religions in the world have some component of fasting in their uh, faith. And if you practice, you know, a religion that talks and, and, and supports fasting and requires fasting, um, as, as I do, I'm Catholic, okay, so we have to fast when it comes, you know, to be Ash Wednesday and, and, um, and Good Friday specifically, and, you know, we used to actually, Roman Catholicism, we, we used to fast um, every Friday during Lent um, and have no meat on the Fridays all year long, so um, I'm used to the idea of sacrifice and self-denial, and that prepares me for rigorous things like a full-body cleanse. Um, I take 
I take a lot of this to, into consideration as I'm doing this. And I'm just I'm just sharing this with you because you can kind of think about it if you've never done a cleanse, or even if you have, um, recognizing that you really look differently at food, you treat it differently, you respect it a lot more, and you respect your body a lot more um, when you are fasting. So I um, I'm feeling those things a lot more. I'm more connected to you know, that undercurrent of, you know, food is essential, the right food is essential for us, um, anything along those lines. Hopefully I'm making sense. I, I kind of babble a lot. I noticed that about myself having gone through this, like, I'm babbling a lot. So hopefully I'm making sense. Anyway, I don't want to keep you. I'm busy. I know you're busy. Thank you so much for tuning in. You're not going to want to miss what's coming up next. And tomorrow I'm going to talk about how I'm going to make my um, lemonade portable so I can take it with me to, um, you know, to my talk that I'm going to be um, at. Not, I'm not giving it, but it's the Jack Medina talk tomorrow night. And then also how I'm going to make my lemonade portable for Saturday. And as everybody gets to enjoy their full lunch and everything, I'll be drinking that. But uh, it's all good. I am a stole myself to the idea, steal, I don't know what's the, what's the proper past participle for that word. Anyway, stolen myself to the idea that uh, I'm not going to be eating like everybody else is, and it's okay. It's okay. Chances are they might be taking in some toxins. No, not, not a good thing for them. I don't mean that in any way. But anyway, you know what I mean. Um, I'm okay with that. So tune in. Don't stop tuning in. And please, you know, send me your messages. I love hearing from you and I could use your support because I'm feeling hungry. So have an awesome day and hope you and your family stay nice and fit. Take care now. Bye-bye.